Well, doctors will tell you there are very few people who can't wear a mask for health reasons. However, people still complain, they're hot, they're uncomfortable. But do they affect your oxygen levels? Dr. Georgine Nanos of Kind Health Group. I have advanced training in epidemiology and public health. Agreed to take part in a demonstration using an oxygen monitoring machine. It's the percent of oxygen saturation in your blood. And a set of masks. Her medical assistant Judy lets us monitor her oxygen levels while we layer on eight masks. Dr. Nano says 97 to 99 is typical for most people. She's not wearing a mask right now. What is her oxygen level at? Right now, it's at 99. We're gonna put another mask on. She's still at 98, she's at 99. Mask number three. Mask four. 98. This is number five. She's at 99, she actually even went up. And now she's at 100, she's actually going up. This is seven, and she's at uh, 100 still. Number eight. Oops, I don't think her ears can support so many loops. Judy's still at 100. So she has eight masks on. Yep. And her oxygen level is what? It's uh, 99. So eight masks and her oxygen levels stay the same. Yes. It makes the point that the masks themselves are not going to desaturate your oxygen level. But what about after walking around for a while wearing the eight masks through the office outside? So we've been walking around for about five minutes. We are at 98, 99. What about exercising? Judy runs around the parking lot and it's still 98. That's impressive, Judy. Climbing stairs. That's 98 after running around the building, a flight of stairs. We even so tested an N95 mask. Without any mask, Judy's at 98. She puts it on. She's again at 98. So really no change, even with the tightest, most restrictive masks, which most people aren't wearing anyway. The bottom line says Dr. Nanos. And when you are wearing a mask, your oxygen levels will remain normal. Finding a mask that is going to be comfortable for you to wear, that you can wear for a long period of time, is what's key for everybody. Kelly Hesedal, News 8.